Hello everyone, my name is Lucifer, and welcome to... Fair, whoa! I, alright, welcome to Favor. I thought that looked like Faith, but it's called Favor. And this game is about me. Who knew, right? Uh, this is a game about Lucifer, or I believe someone who is Lucifer in the game itself. Yeah, it's a visual novel, and it's gonna get interesting. Let's go full screen and mute all. No, it's fine. I like them unmuted. And let's start. What is that? Is that key of something? As a key of, who knows? Uh, this also looks like father, kind of concerning. But let's go. Content warning: um, 18 years or older. All right, young youngins, get out. <laughs> Please input Lucifer. <laughs> oh. And the game crashes. It hates me. Oh, okay. I need to put type in I agree. Okay. I usually the game asks me, like visual novels at this point will ask me for like the main character's name. That's what I thought it was. Okay. That makes so much more sense. All right. Simplicity. Ugh. My head is pounding. Pound, 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 pound. My blurry vision soon readjusted to the dim pub. The sound of lazily approaching feet make me glance upwards. Whoa, hey, what's up? Oh, there I am. I look dashing. Oh, My I name's uh, Corpse Lucy. Oh, did I interrupt your nap? Hey, no, maybe. You already drank yourself into an early hangover. Huh? There are voices. There are voices. I want to quickly, if there are voices, I want to, uh, preferences. I want the voice volume to be maxed out and the music volume to be a little lower. Little man, there we go. Yeah, I did. What's what, you got a problem with that? You got a problem? I squint up in confusion at the strange man standing with a drink in his hand. I'm about to ask who he is when he starts to talk in a raspy, low voice. I'm kind of offended you wouldn't remember your good friend Z. Hello, I'm gonna reduce your voice a little bit now. <laughs> a little bit too loud. I don't remember you. I I remember a lot of things. And there are my eyes. I say closer. My memories follow sh following shortly thereafter. The strange man sits down opposite of me. <laughs> you look like you don't even remember your own name. My name is Lucifer. <laughs> it's it, it's you. It's me. We both are one. We are the one creation of all Lucifers. Do you have a good? Did you have a good nap? You're asking yourself, not me. Uh -huh. You look like you're in. You look like you are in pain. Uh, tell me about it. Pff, am I right? My head is. My head is splitting. Napping while drinking. Honestly, it serves me right. I think my headache is going away though. Hmm? Okay. I had a question. Do you remember your pronouns? Uh, 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 sure. Uh, oh, right. ding 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 ding. You're right. I guess that isn't as hard. Do you remember my pronouns? It was he, him, and they, them, right? Oh, nice. Oh. I didn't expect you to remember. Yes. I feel like they, them is more accurate, but humans have always referred to me as the former. He gives me a, he gives me a small shrug. Z slides, uh, Z slides a glass full of sweet liquid danger towards me. I drink my sweet liquid danger. Ah, uh, hot tea. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you don't want this then. <laughs> it's your usual, of course. I eye the drink, seeing the beautiful amber color shimmer in the glass. I'm gonna save. I feel like saving is useful. Alcohol. Oh, I'll be having that. Oh, some of that good, good uh, liquid amber. Uh, it's my favorite drink, but maybe I should. Yeah, maybe not this time. If I'm talking to Z, Zed, ziddly diddly do, then, you know, I kind of know I need my wits about me. Zed cocks his head to the side a bit. Mm. Mm, well, I guess there is a first for everything. What do you mean? You don't seem like the type of person who is good at resisting temptation. I guess I'm just surprised. You don't know, even know me? The way you're looking at that glass is very... Zed pauses as if he's trying to find the right words. <laughs> Starving catesque. Thanks. Z sits across from me and re rests his elbow on onto the table, seeming more interested in myself than, than the drink in front of him. 
A thick silence drifts across us as he stares at me. Or at least I can only assume so under that ungodly mop of, mop of hair. I used to have hair like that. Like, I didn't realize that I had an emo phase, but I wanted to have that kind of phase when I was much younger. But now I'm like, why, Lucy, why? But I used to have, like, hair across my, like, right eye. And I used to, like, have it, like, straightened down and long. And, oh, God. That sure was a time. And now I still look horrible, but hey, I, I don't, I'm not emo anymore. At least I hope I do wear black all the time. So I guess I'm still emo a little bit. Who knows? Zed soon breaks the silence. So, yes. You come here often. Uh, is that supposed to be a pickup line? A mischievous smile stretches across his face. Mm -hmm. What? Don't like that one. <laughs> uh, I mean, you gotta try a little bit harder, you know? I, I deadpan Zed. I don't know what deadpan means, but I assume you all do, so let me know in the comments. I would like to know. And, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm... I, I don't know why I'm stuck between words right now. I'm gonna go continue the game. Okay, okay. What about this one? He takes a deep breath, seemingly to compose himself. He seems to be taking this a bit too seriously. This is really me. This is basically how I am. <laughs> On my streams and whenever I talk to people, sometimes I'm like this. Oh god, this is basically me. Okay. It be me, guys. This is me now. My new profile picture. <laughs> hmm. He looks at me with a grave look. Hmm. Help, I can't breathe. Zed stares ex expectantly. Okay, because I took his breath away. Because I took his breath away. Z excitedly fidgets a bit, just waiting for me to answer. Um, why? <laughs> because you took my breath away. <laughs> oh, that is so much me. Oh, I would so do that. Uh, I mean, I do this anyways. Oh, that's even worse. Did it hurt when you... No! Fell from heaven. <laughs> what, you didn't even let me finish? No! Please, just no. Next. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking my liquid uh, goldness. Uh, Icker. Okay, okay, what about this one? Oh, okay. Z leans, Zed leans forward, a devilish smile smirks, spreading across his face. You could be a sacrifice that even the devil says thank you for. Hmm, not bad, but nah. Hmm, that's actually creative. That, yeah, that is creative. It's, it's creative. You get A for creativity. I mean, you get C for creativity because, you know, C, creative. Haha. <laughs> he opens his mouth again, but I jump in and quickly cut him off. Please, please, no more pickup lines. Spare me. Something dark flashes, flashes across Zed's face as he shifts in his chair. Hmm? Well, if this sweet human is going to beg, then I guess I can't stop. Thank <laughs> for now. Uh, wait, are those fangs? Oh my gosh. Are those fangs? Those look really cool. I shoot him a deadpan glance and take a sip of my drink. Okay, I need to know what deadpan means. I think, I feel like I've read this word before, but I've forgotten the meaning. Uh, deadpan meanong. Uh, impassive or exp expressionless. That's a, okay, I'm gonna start using that word now. Ha ha! I lear now learned the meaning. <laughs> I thought deadpan meant something similar to uh, dead naming because I know those, that's a word, so I was, guess I was wrong. He cackles a, a bit as, at my glare. My phone vibrates in my pocket, causing me to jump. I sigh, immediately assuming it is, uh, if it is working, and I, as I pick it up and shift tomorrow, I made no sense of that sentence. As if reading my mind, Zed asks, So... So how's the job lately? I will save! It honestly just uh, sucks and I don't think it'll get better. It's not great, but I think it, may, it will get better soon. Maybe. Well, God, she does really bad. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll burn the building down. Who knows? Where? You give a sheepish smile. You know it's kind of a lie, but it would be rude to dump your frustrations on someone who's essentially a stranger. A stranger, wearing a weird cos we're wearing weird cosplay horns and a, and a tail mm. that moves. You're forgetting the movement. Hmm. Well, if it's not that bad, if it's not that bad, you should maybe take on more shifts. On second thought, maybe I should have dumped some frustrations on. Him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I can come and hang out with you. We can just sneak around and watch movies all day. 
We can make one of those human paper games with boxes on it that you mark off when you do something. A tick boxing match. Hmm? Uh, what are those called? Bundle card? Uh, Brildo? Bindle? Zed rubbed his already messy hair with his... I have no clue what he's talking about uh, with his hands if, as if he's trying to get the word to physically surface in his head. Sure. You know what I'm talking about. The humans were on boats when they are weak and, near, and nearing death but still want to feel alive. A bingo card? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. We make a great team. Anyway, if you ever get tired of work, we can just burn down the thing. That's what I said. That's what, oh no, darkness for all of you. But that's what I said. That's what I said. The G is me, Lucifer is me, which makes sense because I am Lucifer. But hey, it all works out. Whoa, this is, this is, this is great. It's basically a documentary about me, okay guys? Everyone, if, you, if you're watching this, watch till the very end because this is all a documentary about me. If you wanna know more about me, just gotta watch this video. Also, you'll see the darkness once again. Dawn. Darkness. Hmm. What? Yes. Like, light, light on fire. No, we should not do that. Oh. But why? I muster all of the sarcasm I can. Because then, where would we watch movies? Ah, that's right. You're right. Watching them at home isn't the same as me taking you to the movies for a date. Excuse you? I only date popcorn and nachos alone! <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't been to a movie theater in many years. Many, many oh no that's a lie i saw i saw avatar too uh recently with my mom okay that was a lie i lied to all of you but i i, I but before that I, I hadn't been to one in many many years I, I don't really go to movie theaters much i usually watch movies like months after they release just because i can get i can get them properly at home um hmm. how could i be how could i be so careless hmm my face palm as my sarcasm has flown far above his head wait I don't, I don't know what kind of movies you like. So... So... What movies do you like? I like horror, even though I haven't seen any good horror. Actually, Evil Dead Rising was a good horror movie, but I haven't seen any good horrors recently. But I, I like horror, I like romance, I like comedy, I like drama, I like action. I like all these movies! Oh. Oh, me too. Well, some of them I like. Some are just... Laughable. True. Very, very true. See? That be me. This is me. This, this uh, basically this, this is so cool. I don't know why. This is just really cool. This is me. Oh man. Oh, if only I if only I looked as cool as um, uh, Zed. That would be so cool. Yeah, horror tends to be like that. The laughable parts can be endearing sometimes, though. Zed smiles as if they're looking at something cute. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you could show me sometime <laughs> how endearing they are. Do you like the bloody ones or the pos possession ones? Ah, uh, I, I don't mind either ones. I feel like both are like eh nowadays. I prefer the ones nowadays where they're either like in your face or they're very subtle about it, kind of like Haunting of House Hill. I'll say Possessions just because I prefer these slightly more. I think I prefer Possession ones. Zed fidgets a bit in his chair. Oh. Ooh. I find, I find them scarier to have to fight against some invisible force that has way more power than you. But I guess in the movies, they always find a way. Some priest will always come by or the main character can read Latin. Unreal, unrealistic. He acts as if he is personally affronted by this. I mean, possessions aren't really re realistic, realistic anyways. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, why would a demon want to possess a random person? Maybe if they were like a billionaire, I'd, I'd get it. Zed nods thoughtfully. An agreement. Well, that's that's very human way of looking at it because demons don't necessarily look at money. Because let's say in a world where hell exists and there are demons and devils and all that, demons would want to possess humans because they want to get out of hell and be in a different realm and conquer it, etc., etc. Money wouldn't matter to them as much because for humans, monetary gain is a big thing because we've put so much value into it and accepted it as um, a, a big, a big valuable thing. So, you know, it, it, it wouldn't make sense for a demon or devil to possess a very expensive dude because it doesn't that make that much difference to them so well okay that depends on the world as well because sometimes maybe money does matter for a demon or maybe a demon who's lived in, on earth for a long time would then become more human like and um, would spend money and stuff so maybe yeah okay 
It's valid, it's valid. It's valid and both not. Depends on the world, depends on the story, depends on many things. I don't know why I'm going on this random tangent right now, but we're gonna go back to the game now, woo! Like, is your spirit yeeted out or do you exist with another spirit like a brain room? Uh, brain roomies. Brain roomies! Or does it start out feeling like normal? But then soon as your skin is crawling and something feels like it is inside of you, slowly influencing you. Zed smiles, shrinking into a small one. I know it's so weird to, weird to consider, but maybe it would be painful? Or maybe it would feel good? Maybe like an erotic closeness that goes beyond what humans can understand or perceive. Oh, uh, wait, all you kids better go, go out of the video now. Yeah. Uh, mm. Sorry, I went off there. I don't know what I was... Zed suddenly hops out of his chair, leaning forward over the table. His face is so close, he smells like embers and licorice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got very glowing eyes. Love the nails and, and love what you've done with your tail. Very glowing, very hot. It's, it's literally on fire. It, it, it's red and hot like coal, okay? Do you want to? What? If you want to invite me in, you, you can try me out. I'd love to sink into your warm skin. His breath becomes a bit heavy as he, as, oh, I just noticed the things on the bottom are like fire. That's really cool. His breathing becomes a bit heavy as his expression becomes increasingly bizarre. He breathes in deeply. His voice drops to a husky whisper. Just think about it. Just think about it makes me so excited. <laughs> I can hear your blood rushing from here. You are excited too. And you, you smell so good. What? Zed inches closer, his hands reaching out towards my face. Are you in character? Or is that, is that your way of asking me for a hookup? You're being a bit freaking weirdo, Z. He doesn't seem to re be registering what I'm saying. Z! At my yell, Zed suddenly falls back into his seat as if he himself was surprised about his actions. Ah, that's right. Ah, uh, you are right. Sorry, God. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so irresistible, isn't it? My big bazonga brain, my terrible, horrible, just, uh, just eviscerating aura. Hmm. So, so, such, uh, such addiction to her, is it? Yeah. Insane? Passionate. Mm -hmm. What were we talking about again? Anyways, I do really enjoy watching movies. Even though most of the time my job sucks butt. It's nice to be able to watch a movie for for uh, for free nights on uh, nights where hardly anyone shows up. I usually don't watch movies a lot nowadays. I usually kind of like, um... Like every couple of months, like once the movies that like I want to watch are out, I I get a bunch of them together. I, I get them all, and then I watch them. Like in two or three days, I watch them all together. So yeah, I I haven't watched a lot of shows recently too. I I do want to start getting back into anime and also reading. Reading something I want to do. And speaking of reading, I'm gonna take my book that I want to read. I'm gonna put it on my bed. There you go. I just wanted to prepare that to take and take to take with me to read. Ooh. I watch movies too. Oh yeah. Zed puffs out his chest, giving a proud look. <laughs> I have seen 20 or so. <laughs> I started to, cop to cover up my laughter when I realized that he didn't mean it as a joke. Wow, all 20 of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have a few more to go. Before we met, I wasn't really interested. You sure weren't. You sure weren't. But watching you watch, but seeing you so passionate about them made me want to watch them too. I wouldn't say I'm passionate. Mm. Maybe my misinterpretation then. Either way, movies are just such a human creation. <sighs> I just don't understand them. What do you mean? Well, it's a medium of, it's a medium of, well, media. It's a medium of uh, creativity, art, and storytelling. So, you know, it, it depends. You know, some people understand art more than other people. Some people understand sound design more than other people, but that's just because people understand different things and that's really fine. And you may be aware. So it takes a moment to think. So. So, for instance, you know these superhero movies, right? Yeah, they, um, the heroes are always so determined to carry out justice without killing the bad guy. Even if the idea of justice only causes further suffering, death, and damage to those who, who they swear to protect. That is true. But I guess we, the viewer, are supposed to be impressed by the hero's moral fortitude or something? Hmm? Is it morals or is it just selfish desire? 
The evil villains always get caught and go to jail. They then immediately break out of jail and do worse crimes, even sometimes harming those the hero claims to love and, and want to protect. That's why recently I think a lot of movies about the anti-hero are getting very popular because of movies are, of heroes being the same thing for so many years. Anti-heroes are heroes, but they break the normal regularity of heroes and stuff like that. So that's yeah. yeah, yeah. Do the heroes even want to stop crime or is it that they just enjoy carrying out justice? I don't understand. Despite all of this, humans still dress up, purchase paper magazines and little idols of those heroes to adorn their houses. Humans idolize heroes for their blind devotion to their selfish desires. It hate villains for their blind devotion to their selfish desires. I just don't understand why any hero would act under the guise that they are doing altruistic good. So then as the hero, what would you do instead? Hmm. I protect those I want to protect. And if anyone dared to touch any of those that protect, Z's voice darkens. <laughs> I tear their limbs from fucking limb. You look heckin' heckin' dark, my dude. I like it. Just for simply having the thought. A shiver moves down your spine as you adjust in your seat. I, um, I don't think that that is considered something a hero would do. By most people's standards, at least. Well, hero is a very, very, um, it's a very, uh, relative thing. Because for some people, a hero is a hero, for them, for other people, it's a villain. So you, you can be a hero for the people that, people that love you, and then you can be an, a villain for people who don't love you. So, yeah, you know, mm. that would be more of a villain line. But humans will see a hero as someone that would sacrifice their loved ones for the greater good. See, humans are confusing. Z sighs and plays with their hair in thought. <sighs> humans would rather relate to talk talking cars and characters than do some immoral acts. That'd be true. That do be true though. I don't think that is entirely true, but either way, talking talking cars? Is that seriously one of the twenty movies you have watched? Sometimes you start watching a movie because you were overheard being recommended to someone else. And then when you start to watch the movie, it looks really brainless. But despite that, you push on and continue to watch it. Because you know what they say. <laughs> Life is a highway. You face palm with a groan. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. That sucked. That's a good one, but it sucked. It sucked. Good ones. Stop. <laughs> Ker chow. Seriously, why did you decide to watch it? It was on my list of movies to watch. How did it get on the list? Ooh. He gave a small shrug. I heard some people talking about it and I got curious. I'm not going to lie, I really didn't know what I was expecting. And I was still surprised. I'd like to see the rest of this list. Zed gave a small smile. He looked almost bashful. Ah, that's right. Oh, I left it at home. You narrow your eyes. That feels like a lie for some reason. Anyways, I read online that the movie watching experience is greatly improved when you are with someone else. Uh-huh. Yes. Like really closely with them, without any obstructions between yourself and the other person. Is that right? I would not know. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would know. I would never know. He seems to have gained some confidence in his answer. Yeah. Yeah, I, re I read it online. Um, <laughs> Moviewatching.com. <laughs> oh my god, this is, what it is. this is exactly how I would say it. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking you shouldn't do it any, any other way because it would be wrong. So I should find someone to cuddle with whenever, whenever I want to watch. Yeah, okay, again, the concept of cuddle is foreign to me. I don't understand what a cuddle is, but... All right. Yes. Yep. Zed gives, Zed gives a look of surprise as if a sudden realization just had just hit him. Oh. Hey, now that you mention it, I have an idea. I laugh out loud, unable to hold myself back anymore. Zed! His face softens at my laughter. Are you being this obvious on purpose? Mm -hmm. I could be less obvious if you want. How? His face scrunches in thought. So... 
I have a lot of movies that I need to watch for... For... For science! Anyways... Ah, that's right. I read in a, a medical journal that 10 out of 10 doctors agree cuddling with a demon is good for your health. I don't think anyone has ever said that. So... So I was thinking if I were have to watch some movies for something, it would be mutually beneficial for both of us to... Could you? You are so bad at this. You should quit while you're ahead, honestly. Am I ahead? No, not really. Maybe. So maybe I shouldn't quit then. No, you definitely should. Okay. Okay, fine. He sighs in defeat, jokingly. <sighs> humans are so confusing. Okay, I have to ask. Why do you keep saying humans as if you aren't one too? Yeah. I'm not. What? I'm not a human. I grimace a bit. Of course, the cute, interested guy in me is insane. But on a second thought, I suppose I shouldn't have been be able to see that coming based off the choice of dress and weird body modifications to his teeth. I wonder if they hurt. I glance at the weird horns and tail as he, that he's wearing. That they're wearing. I grab my glass, deciding I'm not uh, under enough any influence to bring up this weird subject. After swallowing the burning liquid, I face him. He seemed to have, um, some hobbies. Are you cosplaying right now? Hmm? Cosplay? What is that, some kind of sex thing? No, absolutely not. Well, I guess technically it could be. Oh. Oh, so bold of you to ask me, <laughs> ask my preferences in public like this. <laughs> you are going to make me feel shy and stuff. I somehow doubt that. He scans the pub in, exaggerated, in an exaggerated manner and then leans in close. Oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? How you literally doing? How you doing there, me? How, uh, well, you're, you're better than me. You're a much more confident version of me, but how you doing there, diddly me? Oh, I didn't see that. The smell of cold whiskey and licorice drift across this any senses uh, as he whispers. You're kind of freaky, aren't you? You, you just said that to yourself. <laughs> he leans back and cackles at my speechless look. In the context, in the context I was using, I, I didn't mean it as a thing. I was wondering if you'd like to dress up as a characters. He tilts his head mm -hmm. like a costume. Yeah. I don't think so. Not really. But if it's your sex thing, I'd give it a try. Oh my God! It's not my thing. <laughs> He laughs harder in, in, at, at my expiration, exper, exasperation. You are doing this on purpose. Oh, it's his tongue. Oh. Z shrugs. Zed Maybe. shrugs. Maybe. And if about me, though, what do you like to do? I had one movie to play video games. I like to cosplaying and coming. I like to play video games like I'm doing now. I guess I like to watch some movies, play video games, read, sometimes do, do some creative stuff. I think I like to consume stories, really. Yeah. I like video games. I feel like I could have guessed that based off how you were dressed. Oh. Is it the striped shirt? It sure is. Yeah, very striped, very shirt. I'm just going to ignore that. What games you like? Mm -hmm. I haven't played that many. I just learned about them. Zed smiles, cackling evilly. <laughs> Humans get so mad when you're better than them. The shrill voices, screaming threats really makes my day. <laughs> How will these humans accomplish their little threats? I don't, I don't even have a mother. <laughs> Aw, that's sad and adorable at the same time. <laughs> stupid names, stupid humans. Zed cackles loudly as if he as rub zub zub. Zed cackles loudly as if they got a true they truly got no one over on the human. My mouth opens and closes a couple of times. I truly don't know how to respond. He seems so proud of himself that I decide to keep my mouth shut and nod. Hmm? What else do you like to do for fun? Visit the pub? Ah yup 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 yup. I should have saved that for that uh, crap. Uh ah! Ah, uh, yeah, sure, this one. 
I don't really come here that often. I'm trying to find more hobbies to do, but I work pretty often to be able to afford living, uh, I guess. And when I get off of work, I just don't have the energy to do much. So to make me, so, so to me, it sounds like your, it sounds like your life could improve by a little arson. No, not at all. Problems that are solved with arson. <laughs> Zed pouts. Maybe. Some are. No, they aren't. Fine, fine. No arson then. Why are you like this? Yes. A demon's got to be proud of what they got right. <laughs> I'm just saying I could teach you a few things. As Zed rambles on about underappreciated benefits of arson. I go pick up my glass to take it to the to take another drink. Empty. I must have drank it all without realizing. My eyes feel droopy as I notice that most people have already left the pub. God, how late is it? I fold my arms and rest my head on the table. A yawn escaping my lips. My jacket sleeve is comfier than I remember. I half listen to uh, Z ramble a bit more. After about 20 more minutes of Z talking. They pause, smiling down at my sleepy form. Hmm? You look tired, Lucifer. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, hello, hello, <laughs> you're reaching for me, huh? My vision of Zed becomes blurry. It becomes harder to keep my eyes open. I should probably go home before I fall asleep here. Good idea. Good idea. Ah, uh, you stole my line from me. Well, it's your own line, but uh, we are each other, so we stole it from each other. Ha, 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 ha. I enjoyed talking with you, like always. Okay. Despite the voice thought, my eyes grew heavier. Zed becomes blurrier until he fades into darkness. Before consciousness left me, I felt a hand softly patting my head. Don't worry. You're safe here. Uh-huh. We will have so much fun uh -huh. together. Just you and me. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, ho, oh, look at that. Okay. Well, ooh, thank you. I do like having lots of fun with myself. <laughs> but god dang, that was cool. I love the art style for this. That looks so cool. And it was about me. It was my own favor. It be me. I was talking to myself, to you, and to everyone at the same time and myself. It's all a diddly dandy circly workly. So that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. The puns, the pickup lines. Is that is basically how I am. <laughs> oh my god. That was fun. And I believe there are more parts of this. And that is very cool. I would love to play more of this. I, I, I don't know if it's an anthology or if it's just more parts in like a similar environment world kind of thing. But that was cool. That was very, very cool. Do I get any of like stuff like that? Nope. So yeah, uh, I won't go through all the other options. I know there are more options that, that, I can, more, uh, that I can do stuff, but maybe you can do that if you're interested. I will link the game down below and with other of my videos that you can watch. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.